Hello and welcome to another book review. This week I'm going to be reviewing The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. I'll talk a little bit about the author, I'll go into the plot of the novel, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, and then I will wrap it up with some recommendations. Should be a quick, pretty quick review. This book is only about 160 pages. I listen to it via audiobook, so I don't have a cover to show you, but this is definitely more of a novella than a full novel. Uh, this is the first work I've read of Victor Laval. From what I gather, he's been writing for about 20 years professionally. He actually has a lot of acclaim for his novel, The Changeling, which came out last year, but I have not gotten a chance to read that or any of his other works, so this is really just based on, this review is based solely on, on this book. So I had no real preconceived notions coming in about what the book was or what it was about, um, but a quick overview of the plot, it is about a black con man. Uh, in the 1920s, New York City, who becomes involved in a, a, a magical, uh, mystical uh, cult, I guess is a, a way to describe it. Uh, but it's very much in the vein of H.P. Lovecraft. This book is actually a take off on another H.P. Lovecraft story, which I also have not read. Uh, so it's very much in the vein of Lovecraftian horror. Um, but what I liked about the book is the book, like I said, is only 160 pages. It's only about three hours on audiobook. It hits hard. It goes in and gets out really quickly. Uh, so there's not a lot of wasted prose. There's not a lot of long digressions about things that aren't relevant to the plot. So I did appreciate that. I think the way that the author painted 1920s New York was really interesting. I think his inclusion of not only African-American characters, but characters who were immigrants from other countries, from the Caribbean and, and other places, I thought was neat and kind of showing their social world, I thought was something you don't see very often, uh, especially in kind of horror novels. So I thought that was good. I think while the book kind of is slow to get started, I think once it gets to about the halfway point, it kind of switches narrators and really rockets to its conclusion and hits really hard, which I uh, appreciated. Kind of some things that I, I didn't care for as much. I think the the plot is, uh, like I said, it is a take on an H.P. Lovecraft story, so I don't know how much the author can be really blamed for the plot. But I felt like there were some plot holes in the novel, and there were some characters whose roles in the novel weren't really explained. And I didn't get the sense that was due to um, choice necessarily. I think it was more due to... Uh, I don't want to say laziness as far as the writing goes, but it was just kind of unclear to me why there were certain characters and their role in the overall book. So I didn't really care for that too much. I think the prose was fairly, fairly ho-hum, like because there wasn't a lot of digressions and extra uh, side uh, plots or anything like that. The, the novel had fairly sparse prose. It did keep the page count down, but I think there would have been, it would have been nicer to have some places where the, the writing could shine a little bit more. Um, that's really it on the negative side. I think this is going to be a book that you either are attracted to or you're not based on your kind of previous readings. I don't think I would really recommend this to anybody who wasn't already involved in Lovecraftian horror. Uh, it being a takeoff on the another Lovecraft story makes me want to recommend people read his stuff before kind of coming to this. I think what was kind of notable about this book is it's really ultimately about uh, racism as much as as horror from other realms uh, so I think that was handled really well in a really unique way um, there are some really gory images to the novel so if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like gore or violence uh, this may not be the novel for you but if you are someone who wants to just kind of get get a sampling of, of uh, Victor Laval's work I think this would probably be a good good place to go to see if you're interested at all in his writing style and in his writing Again, I can't really speak to whether or not this is indicative of other stuff that he's written, but I think it'd be nice just to get a little sampler. So that's really it for my review. I would recommend this to anybody who's read other other Laval stuff and liked it, or if you've read a lot of Lovecraftian horror and just kind of want a different spin on that. I know Lovecraft, from what I've read of him, uh, wrote a lot about uh, white characters kind of put into... Um, places in in other worlds uh in kind of showing the contrast between them and denizens of those worlds and i think this novel does a good job of of kind of turning that on its head a little bit 
Um, so that's really the review. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Not sure what I'm going to be reading next time. Uh, I'm working my way through The Goblin Emperor, so that will probably actually be my next book. So feel free to look out for that. Feel free to subscribe. And until next time, bye.